Hi, happy Saturday, everyone. This is Meg at Chasing Retro. Today, I'm going to share with you first a bit of happy mail that I received from Jovi at Creating with Jovi. Please check her channel out below. She's super creative, and this is the second year in a row that she has mailed out Christmas cards with ephemera inside to her junk journaling friends. So, let me show it to you first. It is frosted or glittery embossed kind of um, and then inside she's created a little pocket and stuffed it full of really adorable blue and white and pink Christmas ephemera this is like a little cluster so cute I love that trim that is so elegant perfect for writing on the back this crocheted snowflake that I think she added this to the center and this adorable tag I'm gonna call this a tag it looks like kind of like a bookmark though but I love it um, these are gonna work perfectly in my currently I'm using a junk journal that I won last year from Carol at crinkled path I'll, I'll link her to uh, I won a Christmas journal and I'm using it to write notes in as I go through the book of Isaiah, which is one of my favorite Bible books, and I love to read it every year in December. And obviously, because it's about Israel, it has a lot of blue and white um, colors in the journal, which I thought it reminded me of Israel. So these will definitely be going into that journal for writing in. So thank you, Jofi, and I hope you and your family have a Merry Christmas too. So, do you want to do the introduction? I have a guest with me today. It's Chasing Chasing Retro. Hello there. This is Chasing Chasing Retro. Um, yeah, Meg's going to let me join you for a conversation today. So, I did a little shopping. This is not Christmas shopping. This is a haul, guys. It's been a long time. Yeah. But... Surprise haul. Surprise yep. haul. Surprise to me, too. Yeah. <laughs> so, I had to run out and take the car by and get some work done in, on it the other day. And was going back to pick it up. And... Um, came across a little flea market. Um, never by there on a Saturday, but I was picking up on a Saturday and I drove by and there were people everywhere. And I thought, well, if there's people everywhere, then there's definitely a bunch of old paper and cloth and that would make Chasing Retro happy. And so I FaceTimed her and we walked the, uh, the, the place together. And I wish I was there with him, but he did a very good job. And, and I have been so well It trained. was below 40 degrees, so that's why I did not go. <laughs> I'm, I'm living my best life. You're you're cozy at home. So here, let me, how, how do you do this? Oh, just hold it in your lap oh, one yeah, at a like, time. Like a bigger. You don't want to. You don't want to like rush it. No, you don't want to overwhelm oh, us with. Got it. Yeah, we'll go. So, so here's a few things we found. I had the reproduction of this book, but I did not have an original. So I'm very excited about this. Mm -hmm. Very very excited. I haven't looked at these yet, so I'm looking at them at the first. For the first time with y'all mm -hmm. but um goodness this one doesn't even look red mm -hmm. isn't that crazy wow. look at a little black kitty <laughs> i can't stand it so i have captain kitty mm -hmm. this one i have the mother goose that i see everyone picking up everywhere and i've never found so mm. um who is the illustrator let's see because it looks kind of familiar tony bryce i think i have seen his stuff elsewhere. Oh, Teddy Bryce, I've seen him <laughs> before. So, yeah. It's cute. Cute. Right. I have never seen this one. Have y'all seen this one before? Mm -hmm. Benji and <laughs> Well, they misspelled engine first. But... <laughs> so, this would be a really cute train or farm journal because it's kind of got farmland. Um, I love it. Even when it's just pink and black inside, I still think it's adorable. Okay. Uh, Mary Alice Jones is a classic if, author if and illustrator of religious books for children. If you're not familiar with her, flip the book over. Yes. Oh, so, yeah, there she is. Yeah, I had some, the non-junior elf books by her, the bigger ones, and mm -hmm. the same picture was on the back of mine, and I used to stare at her and try what to figure out how awesome she was because she could draw these pictures. Mm -hmm. But her her illustrations are just so cute. Right. So these books, as you can see, they're, it's coming out. And mm -hmm. this is the kind of paper that's very fragile. Someone numbered the pages and <laughs> erased it. But uh, when I've turned these into journals, I normally don't try to keep the story in order. But I do use the pages in some way 
either by just adding them in or mm. one at a time or the illustrations I'll use. Look at that little tide right there. Aww. So yes, I'm excited about this one. I've never seen it before. This is very old and very dirty, but we can mm -hmm. clean it up. I had never seen this one before. Um, I'm gonna see one of my friends tonight who loves Wizard of Oz. I may have to bring this to her to show her. Maybe she'll read it to us. She might, let's see. Um, 1905, that's not right. 1915, 1904. Tell me if I'm right. I have yeah. trouble pre-1920 with uh, <laughs> Yeah. Um, I think it's 1904. My glasses are on, so that looks like a big blur to me. But this printing, that's when the book was written. This printing is 1931, mm. which is also very old. Wow. Cool. Yes. Mary Louise Jones. That's like 500 Jones. years old, right? Mary Louise Jones. I wonder if she's related to Mary Alice Jones. Hmm. And she lived in Clarksville, Tennessee. Okay. So the pictures are black and white, but yeah. I think they're the ori original illustrations. That's cool. That would be a really cute Oz mm -hmm. journal. And for the holidays? Yes, I've made a Christmas journal out of this before, mm -hmm. but I always like to have more. Um, if I decide not to keep it, I'll put it in my shop. Yes, I did make a Christmas. I made one this year from this, but the cover was different. So I might put this in my shop. I don't know how useful it would be this late in the season mm -hmm. to somebody, but I couldn't leave this behind How many either. Have you made this so year? let me say, when he was at this thing, I have a count it. I probably should. Yeah. When he was at this flea market, he kept showing me things like he would he would do this in front of the phone, and I'd be like, yes, no, yes. Yeah. <laughs> the guy was probably like, what is he doing? Because <laughs> <laughs> he was, I was in his earpiece. Yeah. <laughs> felt like I was. This spot. one is literally falling apart. Yeah, I feel like a secret agent. Is it a double book? I don't know. No, no you, two books. you picked up two. Oh, okay. Hard oh to my sell. goodness, these are old. I had never seen this one before. This is super old. Also, Mary Louise Jones, mm -hmm. 1928. So, my grandmother was born in 25. This would have been about the age of the books that she would have read growing up as a young young girl. Oh, look at that book. I know. So these pages are very. Brittle on yeah, it. they'll just crumble. It's so, you, when you buy these books, you mainly buy them for the covers and the illustrations that you're able to salvage. Of course, oh, the little match girl is such a sad story. I think the wait, I think we're missing some. Mm -mm. Nope, that's the whole story. Wow, they condensed it to yeah. one page. In the 30s, the stories were very short. That's history. <laughs> I really like the blue ink, mm -hmm. I love it. That's cool. Look at the little lammy. Bunny bit. Oh my goodness, that bunny's name is Bunny Bit. So I should frame this and yeah. put it in our daughter's room because yeah. she has a little bunny um, <laughs> lovey that she still has with her every day, every yeah. night. This one is kind of just pieces, so. I think this is the front. Is this thing? one is also very old. It's missing the back cover. Yeah. And it's been colored and it's got it has some, um, no, there's the cover. It has some mildew. So I may not be able to use this one at, at all. Mm. Do you Maybe, take it back to them? No. Okay. There's not a date on this one, but oh my goodness, this one has been through it. But you know what? There's no odor. Like mm -hmm. normally a book like this that has the mildew, it's a, mm -hmm. offensive, but I don't, don't smell anything. This is just a part of a book. Okay. So, good luck with that. The back card. Okay. Maybe that goes to this one. It does. It does. Oh, nice. Yes. Child's Garden of Verses. Also Mary Louise Jones. Hmm. 1919. Um, this is the edition of 1937. So this like this Mary Louise must have been about my grandma's age, maybe a little younger. Mm -hmm. I love mm. it. Okay, uh, I don't know what's happening with that squirrel. Oh, his eye. <laughs> it's cute. I think it's cute. <laughs> so I've seen other people make journals out of this one, and I think they are so adorable. So. Uh -huh. 
<laughs> this is probably the newest book I got. Are out you of all of them. Yeah. Look at that cat. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. This is, is that even a book? This is probably a very old cloth book. I don't know though. Oh, I think somebody made this. This looks handmade. Oh, that's cool. It might have been a book of like, that a mother made for her child just to look at pictures. Mm. Oh my word. This is, um, jo this is Joseph with his brothers, look. Wow, that's an actual photograph of them. <sighs> no. No? Oh, yeah. on the back you can actually see some words. Let's go from like a magazine, look through the page. Yeah, it's from a book. Y'all, yeah. I think I found the very first junk journal. <laughs> <laughs> this might be it. Really come and look at that Airedale. You know, that tuck spotter there. <laughs> I love it. This one needs a pom pom. This guy was probably glad to get rid of this because he didn't know what to do with it. Yeah. Oh wow, this one is in very where's oh, oh, yeah. those down there. This is this one's much loved, but I can never pass up a Heidi. Mm -hmm. The cover is still salvageable. I like that. Mm-hmm. That's funny. Her address was Madison Extension. Mm -hmm. They forgot to print that page. 1934. <sighs> Look good. at that. So those pa these pages would be fragile, but very, very usable. Yeah. If I bolster it somehow. Seriously, they don't smell musty. They smell yeah. old, but mm -hmm. they don't smell... Like a basement. Mm. Yeah. yeah. It's just falling apart. Mm. But I love it. <laughs> wow. 1934. Let's look at the back cover. Aw. <laughs> so neat. And the last one. Oh yeah, this one, I don't even know what's in here and I don't think you open it either. Um, no. It's kind of, it was kind of a, let's just buy it, not knowing what's in here. Oh my words, it's, it's <laughs> incredible. Are you about to have a little moment? 1934, no, 1939. 1939. Oh my word. I've never found anything like this. <laughs> I'm going to start sending you out by yourself more often. Yeah. Now, why would they cut the clothes out but leave the dolls? I don't know. Babs and Mac. Mm. They look like they're ready to go. He looks like Gatsby. <laughs> Is it like a paper? This, like their a clothes are probably in here. Oh. Oh, nice. she's made, Babs has made notes for herself of where she needs to wear this. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a very thoughtful gal. She is. Mm -hmm. um, he's an astronaut. He went out to ski and she's back at the lodge oh, reading magazines. Ski. I thought it was a... <laughs> this is so cool. Oh my goodness. What in the <laughs> world? Somebody added their doll stuff to it. So this one's been played with a little bit. Um, the cover. I don't see the cover. Is this it? Peter and Suzanne. Oh, okay. Okay, we have Peter and you see, Suzanne. see, Suzanne and Babs actually do not get along. <laughs> that's why they had to keep them separated. And there must be one more that's not in here. They said five. Okay, books, there were so, five originally. Yeah. Okay. There's Peter, and one of these is Suzanne. <laughs> Let's call them and see which one comes. <laughs> 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 oh, I love the sunflowers. But yeah, let's let's hold this up. Yeah, that's definitely, that has to be Suzanne. I think it's the red yeah. girl. Her, her, I don't know though. She looks like she's drawn differently. I don't know. Yeah. Um, what is this? I don't know. Dolly's hose. Oh my word, you could buy pantyhose for dolls. That's amazing. Wow. And then look. There's, this one's been cut out of a, um, oh, I'm going to need to use these immediately on ephemera or they're going to get messed up. It's like a comic book or newspaper. Oh, cool. yeah. Somebody cut this out without mm. 
one of our fancy craft knives. <laughs> this is like a, what do they call these, tussie mussies or something? You know, probably the wrong guy to ask that question <laughs> too. This is like a little dresser tray. That might be a hat. Yeah. A little dresser tray with a, this, this is probably the same girls. So this girl would have been my grandma's age. Oh, wow. Not many of my grandma's toys survived because she had younger sisters. Like so I never shoes? got to, yeah, they're ballet shoes. Oh, that really would be small. amazing to tie on the front of a, like a little, a baby journal or a little girl's journal. And then mm -hmm. we have this little leather shoe. Mm -hmm. that, people were so much smaller back then. Here's a very. Look at that, like <laughs> tiny people. Like, they're not a foot tall. This looks like a, maybe a, Someone tried to make a diaper because Ow. it's got a, a rusty pin, but it's got little leg holes. We don't condone using rusty <laughs> pins in any kind of diaper. Just to here's a clear. little sandal and a little comb. Mm -hmm. I bet this is the base of a shoe. This is some of her hair right there. See that? Maybe? Yeah. Look, that's some of her hair. Right no, there. it's not. That's yeah. a rubber band. Yeah. I think this might go with the shoe or something. And then we have these beautiful pieces of clothing. Oh, uh -oh, oh another here. one. Are you Suzanne? We, what happened to all the guys though? Maybe the kids like, I just want to play with the ladies. This is a, uh, yeah. So. It's supposed to be a girl's school. That's a pretty dress. I don't think Peter you, has any clothing in here. Are you going to play with these? Wow. That was all pink. Like so. a drum majorette. I don't see any clothes for Peter at all. She didn't want him to have anything to wear, I guess. Um, is that, huh? what is that? It's a head, like a handkerchief oh. on her head. Gotcha. I like the tassels on the purse. Mm -hmm. Somebody cut out these very well. I bet it was mm -hmm. her mother, sure. but her mother cut them out for her. Look at this little, little. That's why you're wearing the same thing. <laughs> I would love to have these clothes. <laughs> <laughs> you would wear them. Oh, I would wear them all the time. Yeah, that's, this is pretty amazing. I've never found anything like this. Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't, you did. Yeah. But. Wait, wait, what's this right here? I don't want to mess it up. This, it looks so like I, a hat. You know. It's that little fur hat with a knit. We need to bring hats back. Oh my goodness, this is so neat. We didn't look at this. Look at the fur stole mm -hmm. and the, these are a lot of green. Evidently, Peter was going on a safari. Yeah, there's Peter's. And that's, that's the good. hunting club. Oh, yes. Yeah. After the safari. Yeah. What, what is that thing? It's a fur bag. Oh, he Ooh. runs a circus too. <laughs> Obviously, is also Sherlock Holmes. No, this is horse riding. <laughs> oh, he's got a box of cologne. Look at that. Oh, that's funny. Oh man, this is, does this not epitome though, the glamour of the 1930s? Yeah. Or not everyone lived glamorously. Most people lived not glamorously, but glamour was exemplified just... in things like this. Depression era. What a treasure. So I'd like to know y'all's thoughts on these books. What was your favorite? Mm -hmm. Was this your favorite or one of the books? Let me know. And thanks to Chasing Chasing Retro for going to get this stuff today so we can have a video this weekend. I was like, I'm not going to have a video this weekend. But you came home with all these treasures. So thank <laughs> you. I'm working on a custom journal. And I don't really want to show any of it until it's done. Because I don't want to surprise the recipient until I'm ready to show everything. And she's approved it. So that's why I can't make a video. But I did. Thank you. Good job. I hope y'all have a great day. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.